warned the suspect in Wednesday's deadly hit and run has a lengthy record of traffic offenses and has been driving without a license for years. 45 year old Mitchell Miyashiro was released shortly after turning himself in to police yesterday as the investigation continues. Our Daryl Huff has more. Sarah Yara's family was public about their grief in hopes of quick justice for her death. So the release pending investigation of suspect Mitchell Miyashiro is hard to accept, but hit and run cases require detailed investigation that takes time. Many times you have a hit and run accident, the person was drinking. And then they have the accident, they run because the alcohol increases the offense level. So now it makes it more difficult to prove. That could involve retracing Miyashiro's actions before the incident. But in his extensive traffic record, we found virtually every offense except drunk driving. Court records going back to 1996 show at least 164 traffic infractions and crimes. In the last five years, he was stopped 12 times without a license and has six convictions. Even though those are traffic crimes, he did no time in jail, although he was probably eligible. Attorney Pat McPherson says some drivers get more dangerous as they go years without a license. They become a little more reckless in their driving because there's no accountability. There's no responsibility and no accountability. So the driver just drives however they want to because it doesn't really matter. If police can't prove drugs or alcohol were involved in his driving, Miyashiro could still get 10 years for fleeing the scene of the death. That's the same as a drunk driving homicide. But under a new law inspired by the tragic death of Kaulana Warner, hit and run combined with DUI could bring even more time. I hope prosecutors and HPD, after the investigation, they do apply this extended imprisonment, which is 10 more years added on. But like it did in Kaulana's case, which took three years to trial, justice for Sarah Yara will not come quickly enough for her family. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Network.